my name is Joe Stiglitz and we are fracking a oil well in Sugar Grove, uh, not too far from the New York line. Uh, this particular well we're fracking today is uh, uh, total depth is 1050 feet. Uh, right now we're fracking at around 1030 feet. Uh, your typical water well in this area is right around 250 feet, 300 feet. We have steel pipe cased in through the ground, through the freshwater sand. It was cemented back to surface to protect the groundwater uh, for these folks and neighbors that live around here. Uh, mostly the folks up in this area are Amish and uh, they're happy to have us come in and build roads for them and maintain their ground for them. Uh, this well here, uh, we're fracking it, we're putting eight stages in it. Uh, we're putting sand in uh, with the water. Once that crack opens up in that fracture, uh, we pump the sand in and that sand holds that formation open and allows the oil to flow out of it. Uh, we're putting right around 70 sacks of sand in each stage, eight stages, and each stage is taking about 150 barrels of water per stage to frack. So if you do the math, we're right around 14, 1500 barrel uh, of water to do this job, where a typical shale job will take millions of barrels of water uh, to get that job done. You can look at the footprint of how big we are here. <clears throat> we have two frack trucks and a sand truck, three water tanks in our rig our pit and a pipe boat. Um, we can fit all that on about a hundred by a hundred location. We utilize the roads so that the frack trucks can sit on the roads to make the location sizes smaller. So you saw where we had just drilled a new well. Obviously you can see that that footprint is very small. Our pit sizes are incredibly small. Once we're done with the jobs, we'll take the liners, fold them in as per the DEP specifications, and we'll cover those back over with dirt and encapsulate them. Once we're all said and done with and have the jack set, we'll now come back in with a hay mulcher. We'll mulch all the ground, plant grass seed, and in the spring, you'll never even know we were there. Now this frack job here, as you can see, I have myself, there's five of our company here today working. I've got three guys on the rig working. One of them is going to, going to be going to school to be a dentist. He called me and wants to know if he could work for a couple months and make some money, so we're putting them on. My dad is sitting in the frack van uh, and he's talking with the well owner on the phone who's overseas. I'm taking care of uh, the water situation. The frack crew here, they have five, six guys here running the trucks. So this is just one crew. This is just one frack job that we're doing today. So if there's numerous frack jobs going on, you can see how many people that this business employs and how it affects each and everybody's families as a trickle down effect. Right behind you, you'll see a vac truck. The fellow that's running the vac truck, he has four guys here maintaining the water, keeping the pumps going, and trucking water to the location. He's also the same guy that has built the locations. So when you look in the end of it, he's got five guys here, I've got five guys here, there's ten guys there, and another probably eight or nine with the frack company with everybody here. Uh, so that there's 15, 20 people on this job, on one job. So there's a lot of money going into a lot of people's pockets from this one well to a property who can go home and put food on the table for their families. 